Hello, my name is Dr. Masuma Gulamosen and I will talk to you today about intraosseous placement in pediatrics, proximal tibia, the improvised approach. Indications. In emergency situation and if intravenous access cannot be started or achieved in two attempts or in fewer than 90 seconds, clinicians should consider starting an intraosseous line. Requirements needed. Sterile gloves, alcohol swabs or povidon preps, 2% lignocaine without epinephrine, saline flush, and a sterile blood giving set needle. Insertion techniques. Identify the site for puncture, the flat and pteromidal surface of the tibia, one to two finger breasts below the level of the tibial tuberosity. Position the leg with the knee slightly bent and semi-externally rotated. Place a sandbag or towel roll under the leg for support. Prepare the site with povidon solution. Inject lignocaine for local anesthesia. Hold the blood giving set needle with the palm of your hand and place your index finger on the shaft. Insert it firmly through the skin onto the tibia. The alignment of the needle wrist and elbow in a straight line gives the operator better control of the needle while increasing strength. Use a screwing technique to insert the needle onto the shaft until you hear a pop sound. Indications of successful intraosseous insertion include an obvious pop of give as the needle enters the marrow cavity. The needle will feel firmly fixed by the bone and stand upright without support. Check for placement by injecting half to one mil of saline solution, then aspirate. A bloody flashback indicates that the marrow cavity has been entered. Marrow may not always be aspirated. Use 5 to 10 cc of normal saline to flush the needle and observe for extravasation. The fluid should flush easily. I hope you've learned on how to place an intraosseous axis in pediatric patient. Thank you for watching the video.